Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Monday, March 25th. It's about 10 till 4 p.m. Thought I would check in with you guys today early, earlier than later, uh, after a weekend of some some R and R with my college buddies. Uh, did some uh, our, our annual getaway uh, to the Santa Cruz Mountains uh, during the first weekend of March Madness. So we did that this weekend. Now I'm back for some more. Many of you follow me over the weekend. You know, even even when I'm gone, I'm still grinding, right? Still getting some work in. So I did a workout on fr on Friday. Uh, and I included it uh, on my timeline, and I also did a, a Facebook Live after the workout. So go back and check that out. So um, today, hey, what's up, Susie? I'm going to talk about um, a story, right? You know, I love my stories, guys. Um, I think I, I do a great job of uniquely connecting stories, anecdotes, um, lessons to real-life stuff, Right? So I'm going to I'm going to tell you a story real fast. Uh many have heard it. It's one of my my go-to stories when I'm mad at my classes. Uh but I think once we get to the very end it'll be relatable to a lot of things you're going through. All right? So um 1990 guys, 1990 my first year at UC Davis. All right? Played football at UC Davis so in the valley of Sacramento, right? It's cold in the winter. Not like Midwest cold, not Chicago cold, but cold for us, right? So playing football, up late at night, training, practicing. My dumb self took on a 8 a.m. calculus class. Calculus class. What's up, AK? 8 a.m. calculus class, all right? So matter of fact, it wasn't even calculus. It was pre-calculus. I didn't test well enough to get into calculus. So 8 a.m. pre-calculus class. All right, so I'm going from, you know, a, a, a schedule in high school that had early class, right, getting up early, going to school. But now I'm in college, right? Now I'm in college, I'm playing football. And even though I did not underestimate my ability to be disciplined to get up, right? And, and go do what I have to do to be better. I did not underestimate my ability and my discipline to do that. What I did overestimate was the discipline to go to bed early, especially when you're in college, right? For your first year in college, you're up late, you're hanging out with people, you're, you're, you're studying maybe, you're working out, you're playing video games. Just, you know, you're, for the first time, you have really no curfew. And so you're kind of, you're not disciplined. I was not disciplined. So even though I was, I had the, the discipline to get up and go study or go to class, right, Rashawn? Even though I had the, the ability to do that, I was not disciplined enough to, or smart enough to go to bed early, right? Yet in that quarter, 1990, UC Davis 8 a.m. class, when it's cold, when it's dark, after a long night of studying and practicing, I did not miss one single day of class that quarter, right? I didn't miss one day. Not when I was tired, not when it was too cold, not when it was raining, not when my bike had a flat tire, not one single day did I miss, right? And as I, as I asked my class at the punchline, guess what my grade was in that pre-calculus class at UC Davis, fall quarter of 1990? Guess what my grade was. I don't remember. I know it was bad. I say D minus in class. Kiddingly, I think it might have been a D. It was D, whatever it was. It wasn't. It wasn't passing. Right. It wasn't good enough to to advance to calculus. So even though I was there every single day, right, my grade was still a D. D for dummy. Right. So. The reason I tell that story often in my class is because people are of the mindset that just showing up isn't enough in life, right? I'm here, and I get so tired of hearing it because it's a mindset. Every Monday, I walk into my damn gym, and I ask everybody, how you doing? And, and inevitably, somebody tells me, I'm here. It's Monday. I know what day of the week it is. I have a, I have a fucking clock at home. I know what day it is. I know it's Monday. 
It was Monday for me too, two hours ago at 4 a.m. when I got up. Right? I know what day it is. I'm here. That's it? You just barely here? Right? So they think that just being there is enough. Right? It ain't. Right? Showing up ain't enough. I wish it was, but it's not. Right? And, and proof of it is that I, I went to every single class that fall quarter of 1990 at UC Davis for calculus and got a D. Why? Because I, didn't, I went there with the intent of going to sleep. With the intent of kind of listening. Oftentimes with no book. Oftentimes with no intention of really listening and being engaging. Right? So we approach that certainly with fitness. But we approach it with a lot of things in our life that we want to get better. And we think that just being there is good enough. That showing up is good enough. That raising my hand when they say, uh, is Bobby Blueford here? Yes, I'm here. Are you really here? Are you really here? Because your muscles only know if you're really here. Right? The relationship with your, with your wife or your, or your daughter or your son or your husband is only going to work if you're really here. Right. I, I can't. I've gone to every one of my kids sporting events for the most part. But when I'm there, I'm engaged. Right. I can't go there and be on my phone the whole time and then say, honey, I was there. Were you there? I made a shot, looked up. You were on your damn phone. Were you there? Right. So being there ain't, 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 ain't good enough. Right. You have to want to get better at, at whatever you're trying to get better at. If you're trying to build a bond with your wife, sitting down and watching a movie with her, but not watching it ain't building a bond, right? Telling your husband you go to the game with him and then building your phone the whole time ain't building a bond, right? Going to your son's game or your daughter's game and not really paying attention to it ain't building trust, right? Going to the gym every day and hanging out ain't going to get you fit like me, right? It's going through the grind. It's going through the work. It's being, it's having purpose, right? Live your life on purpose, with purpose, for a purpose, right? Go to the gym on purpose, with purpose, for a purpose, right? Going to counseling only works if you fucking listen in counseling, right? Going to the library to study only works if you study in. I was here for three hours, were you? You sat down and was physically there for three hours, but were you there for three hours? Right? I'm better, I'm better now at training than I, than I ever have been in my life. Right? I used to spend hours in the gym probably BSing. Right? So now I can, I can relate to people who do that right? and kind of laugh at it. Oh, I spent two hours in the gym working out. No, you didn't. I mean, you spent two hours in the gym. You didn't spend two hours in the gym working out. Trust me. Because if you did, it wouldn't be two hours. Right? So whatever you want in your life, guys, you got to be intent on it. Right? Stop pretending that this showing up is good enough. It ain't good enough. I made I made 50 phone calls today for my, for my sales quota. Right? But you hoped half the time they hung up. Right? And when you're on the phone, you just try and get to the numbers. So you want to buy this? No? Okay. Have a great day. You ain't trying. So 50 phone calls ain't nothing if you didn't try to make 50 sales, right? 50 workouts ain't good enough if you didn't try to work your butt off on every 50 of them, every 50 of them, right? Being there ain't enough, guys. It ain't enough, right? So, and so I teach these principles and these laws because it, it, they're, they're, they're cross-platform, right? They, there's some principles in life that apply to everything. And one of them is you can't just show up. Right, watch the NCAA tournament and see if you can just show up and win ball games. Ask Duke if you can do that, who almost lost yesterday. You can't just show up in life. You can't. You can't just show up in calculus class and pass the class. You can't just show up in counseling and not listen and not really give effort and build a better relationship. You can't just go to the library, open your book up, and expect to get better grades. That's not how it works. You can't sit down on the couch with your wife like this watching a movie and, and expect it to, uh, to be credit given to you for watching a movie when you didn't pay attention. Right? Yeah, sitting here is, is, is a step. 
but she ain't giving you credit for it unless you engaged. How was the movie, honey? I don't know. I ain't watch it. Okay, well, that don't count. It don't count. Right? So I'll be damned if I'm going to a workout and not letting it count. I'll be damned if I'm going to the library and the hour not counting. I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I'm going to go to my, my son or daughter's game and not get credit for being a better father. Right? It ain't enough. Showing up is not enough. And in case you in case you want to argue with me, go right now to the mirror. Right? You've been working out, right? You've been dieting. Go to the fucking mirror right now. Get undressed and tell me it's showing up good enough. Right? Your son or daughter who said she was studying, but she ain't really studying. I want you to look at a report card and you tell me if that's enough. Right? You've been going to counseling, but ain't, ain't really been putting in your effort to listen, to grow, to get better. And you tell me if the relationship is better now. Right? Is it better now? It's simple, guys. If you want it, go get it. If you want to be better, go get it. You want to get stronger, leaner, skinnier? Show up and be there. I shouldn't need to yell at you. The voice inside your head should, should yell enough for both of us. You want to get better grades? Study. For real. Don't hang out with your buddies or your girlfriends. Study. For real study. For real study. Like hurt a little bit. Be uncomfortable. I can't grasp this concept. Ah, it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. You're learning. You want to go as a salesperson? Right? Stop doing all these checklists about what you're going to do and just going through them. You really get better. If you made 50 phone calls and none of them succeeded, change it up. Read something. Go to a seminar. Everyone should be about getting better. It shouldn't be about filling a quota. Don't just show up anymore, guys. Right? I could, I could very easily say, you know what? I'm going to do these videos. I'm going to do five videos a week. And just come in here and talk about stuff and hang up. But I want to get better every time I talk to you guys. Every single time. Every time. Not some of the time. All the time. Every one of them. So it's been 15 minutes almost. Of my day. I'll be damned if I'm going to waste 15 minutes and not get better. So when I came here, I was engaged. Got my little protein shake. Right? Do Dot Fit, my sponsor. Right? I sat down here, right, got loose a little bit, got my mind right, and I was engaged and ready to go. So, yes, I checked it off as a video today, but I didn't just check it off to check it off. I was here. I'm present. And that's the only way you have any chance of getting better at what you want to be great at. Any chance. Right? What's your secret, Bobby, to, to, to being fit? Hey, ain't no secret. I show up consistently, I bust my ass when I work out consistently, and I repeat that. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't magic. The magic is in the dirt, as I say. Right? So if you do that, and you really do it, like you really work out, right? Like, like, like you're not afraid of a little pain and discomfort, you'll get better. If you study, I mean like really study to the point where like you like have some pain and discomfort, you don't get better grades. You can't not get better grades. If you show up and really work on that relationship with you and your son, right? Instead of going outside and just throwing the basket up, basketball up and pretending to be, be engaged, talk to him. Get engaged. Play him for real. Don't check your phone every five minutes. Don't, don't portray to your son that, that this is, is a, a, an inconvenience to you, like many of you guys do. Right? Be engaged. Be, it's, it's 30 minutes. Be there for 30 minutes. Right? Don't go in the house and say, yeah, I was outside with my son playing basketball. No, you wasn't. No, you weren't. You were out there throwing the ball up, but you weren't playing with them. You weren't with them. So stop lying to yourself. Don't lie to me. I know the deal. I, I, I see it all the time. I know the deal. I know what I do it. I know what I'm not there. When I'm not engaged and present. 
So I know you know it. So be there. Right? Whatever you want to be great at, do it consistently and be there when you do it. It's simple shit. Be there when you do it. Right? And the excuses are irrelevant. They're irrelevant. Either you were there or you weren't. I know, baby, I was at your game, but I had a phone call to make. So what? You weren't there. She don't care what the reason was. I promise you. You missed her three-point shot to win the game. You wasn't there. She don't care. It was a, a deal to close. She don't give a damn. Right? You're trying to lose weight to go to Hawaii, but something got in the way. You got, you got an injury here. Your daughter was sick here. Your body don't care. You're going to Hawaii with, with, with the moo moo, right? Feeling bad about yourself because your body don't care. The excuses are irrelevant. So in my class, David knows it. I don't take excuses in my class. If you can't work out, I get it. I'm not a jerk. Stay home. Stay home. Because if you come here and you can't work out, you might as well be home. Don't go to the library to study when your eyes are swollen. I'm here though. I'm here. I can't study, but I'm here. You ain't here then. Then you ain't here. Right? Show up and be there. Simple as that. How do I get better, you know, at, 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 at fitness? How do I get better at my sport? How do I get better grades? How do I build a better bond with my wife or my daughter or my son, my friend? Show up and be there. It's simple as that. It's simple shit. Show up and be there. All right? So that's my UC Davis calculus story. And people have heard it a thousand times in my class. Right? So I learned what happened. I took it again. Right? What's up, Mark Eddy? Steady Eddy? Right? So I, so I fell to class, right? I learned from that. Took it again the next time. I was there every day again. Except this time, I was there. I was present. Right? Brought my books. Sat at my desk upright. Listened to the lectures. Took notes. Went home, did the homework, asked questions, and guess what? B plus. Right? Now that matters. Now that matters. So being there only matters if you're there. Only if you're there. Right, Donna? If you if, if you if you present, but you ain't present. If you're there, but you ain't present, you ain't getting better. And you won't get better. And you'll cry to everybody else and complain this diet ain't working. You know, this this study, you know, this book isn't working. No, you ain't working. Stop blaming the damn diet. Stop blaming the workout. Stop blaming the book or the instructor or the counselor or the therapist. You ain't working. Some more as that, you ain't working. Show up and be there. As simple as that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to where I'm at by no fucking magic. I didn't get to an NBA and finance for no magic. My daughter and I are, are, are tight. My son and I are tight. My wife and I have a good bond. It ain't magic. My wife and I watch a Lifetime movie. I'm there with her. I'm engaged. Whether it's a good movie or not. My daughter's games, I'm there. Whether she's playing or not. When I work out, you know I'm there when I work out. I'm present when I work out. You know that. You know that. So if it's important enough to you to, to devote an hour or more a day to it, you might as well be present. You might as well get better. You might as well get some fruit from that labor you're putting in. Right? So I learned my lesson, my UC Davis lesson, right? Going to class every single day and not missing a day ain't good enough. It's better than nothing. No, it's not. It's the same as nothing. In fact, it's worse than nothing because I could have at least stayed home and slept in and gone to practice. Rest is. I can, I can guard Mark Eddy, cover him in practice. Right? So if you if you if you go to the gym but you're tired, right? And you can't work out the way I want to work out because I'm tired. No, it ain't better off going to the gym. You're better off staying home and resting so the next day you can be engaged. Right? You're better off missing your daughter's game if you if you can't be there and then picking her up and being engaged in the conversation after the game. Then going there and not being engaged, not listening, not watching. Show up and be there. And whatever you do in life, show up 
consistently and then be there when you show up. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right, guys. I'm going to finish my shake, my dot fit shake. I haven't eaten yet, guys. I still fast. I fast until like three or four every day. But I still got muscles. All right, guys. Love you guys. Have a great day. Again, remember I said, guys, it's very simple stuff. What's up, Mark Eddie? Woo! You used to get me on those close corners. <laughs> very simple stuff, guys. Right? There ain't no secret to this stuff. Like, whatever you want in life, you can have it. Go chase it. But you got to be engaged. You got to be present. Right? Show up consistently. And when you show up, be there. Be in the moment. All right, guys. Love you. Have a great day. BTY better than yesterday.